Hello beautiful people, here's a review of the new French TPK 641 anti aircraft vehicle. The new SPAG is a right now placed to battle rating 5.3. Hope you enjoy. Let's look at some of the pros and cons for the TPK. Some of the pros, guns. The TPK is armed with twin 20mm cannons which have a high rate of fire with 996 rounds per minute. The cannons can only use two different kinds of shells, a high explosive and an armor piercing high velocity shell with an armor pin of 57mm at 10 meters. The two shells can be used in three different belts, a default belt which switches between the two types. A high explosive belt where you have two high explosive and one AP shell and an AP belt with two AP and one high explosive shell repeating. The cannons have plenty of ammo with 1200 shells total. Even stuck, the turret has a high rotation speed with 56 degrees a second and ending with an 8 screw with a whopping 80 degrees a second. Max elevation is also okay with 81 degrees. Crew the TPK has a large screw of 6 with all but the gunner sitting in a double cabin. This means that you have plenty of crew to man the guns in case of a gunner being knocked out. Vehicle The vehicle itself is pretty fast with 80 km an hour and a not so impressive reward speed of just 13 km an hour. If we compare the TPK with another similar vehicle, the Boswalk, this vehicle has a considerable smaller turning radius and is somewhat smaller. Luckily, Artillery, as all other SPAGs, the TPK has also access to artillery support. And a couple of the cons. Gun depression. The cannons can only depress minus 3 degrees and that can be an issue in hilly terrain where it can be difficult to bring the cannons to bear on targets at a lower elevation than yourself. Armor protection. This being just a truck also means that it only has 3mm of set armor protection, which basically means zero. Crew cabin. The largest annoyance for the SPAG is the height of the crew cabin. Although the gun platform is elevated on the back of the truck, it's still not high enough to not interfere with the turret rotation over the cabin, which means that the gun also elevates to clear the cabin. It's not nearly as bad as another SPAGs with similar design, but it's still present. Okay, so with the previous update, Kings of Battle, France received a light tank, the AMX-10P, but it's functional also an SPAG and placed in the SPAG branch of the French Tech Tree at battle rating 5.3. And today with the new update, we got yet another French SPAG, also battle rating 5.3. But it's a quite different beast from the AMX. The TPK is more of an, in air quotes, pure SPAG. It does not have access to scouting like the AMX and has better elevation of the armament. With no scouting, there's also no airstrike modification nor smoke launchers. The armor pin of the 8 swap shell with 57mm at 10m is enough to destroy light tanks, some tank destroyers, and medium tank from the side at close range so it can be used in a pinch as a tank destroyer. But with zero armor and awful gun depression, it is not the best usage. As a pure SPAG, the TBK is very good though, and where you will get the most out of it. Very fast turret rotation and fast firing cannons will help you with that aspect. The large screw will ensure that you can switch out a knocked out gunner, but the big downside is of course that there is no armor. So any strafing aircraft or even a coax machine gun from a vehicle can quickly knock out the TPK. With a top speed of 80 km an hour, the vehicle is also pretty useful to get an early cap with. It is not the smallest of SPAGs though, and the length of the vehicle can spell trouble in urban areas, but it's not nearly as bad as the boss walk. So as a pure SPAG, this new TPK is far better than the AMX-10P and a welcome addition to the French Tech 3. So now we just need two or three SPAGs for the American Tech Tree to fill up the huge empty gap from battle rating 4.3 to 7.7. But that was about it. Thanks for watching, and until next time, 
Remember to deploy your die brakes. Have a good one.